What does this mirror thing do? Oh! Is that... That's a me person, isn't it? And I can adjust as necessary? Oh. Yeah. There's my guy. Yeah. Porn stash McCat burglar. Ladies, gentlemen, or what have you, I am Edgar Orpheus, and I'd like to welcome you back once again to the Pumpkin Patch. I guess we're doing some more Eldritch stuff. I liked it before, and now I've been equipped with, uh, various knowledges from, uh, Messrs. Miguel and Jeremy. Thank you so much for the tips and tricks. Uh, to that end, I'm going to, firstly, I'm going to play this game a little bit more stealthily, and secondly, I'm going to do this trick-or-treat thing, which is what was suggested to me. Uh, I don't- oh, okay, so the- okay. And, you know, as is so often the case, I immediately fail at the thing I attempted to do. <laughs> Despite assurances that this is gonna be super easy, I'm sure it is. I just, well... You know. Okay, I got caught. Round two. Okay, this time- this time, stealth for real. This time I'm going to channel all of my dishonored skills. And I'm going to very calmly uh, approach the situation. I'm going to lean often. I'm going to make sure that folks in pumpkin heads don't see me. So, is he see? Yeah, yep, that's a seen me. That's a seen me expression if I've ever seen it. Boom, punched him. Oh, another thing is that enemies apparently respawn, but only if you loot them. So, you have to, there's a trade off between. Deciding whether or not I need more things to survive, or whether- fuck! Whether or not I need less enemies to survive. Uh, I mean, I'm kind of at the early stage, so maybe I'll pick up some stuff in order to have enough things to successfully complete this little, uh, level. Supposedly, this section is kind of an easy way to pick up gear or something for, uh, later on in the game. Oh, sweet! Boom, knife. Boom, dynamite. I got all the things I need right now. Uh, and these coins. And can I pick up these pumpkins? I would like to. Oh, damn. Oh, apparently damage does- you do more damage if you stab them in the back. A tripwire gun, huh? And a hatchet. I like my knife. Fully expecting this hatchet to do more damage. But let's see what the tripwire gun's about, eh? I assume it shoots tripwires. But to what end? Only time will tell. A lot of hatchets. Hmm. So, I wonder... I have yet to successfully complete a level. I wonder if, um... You get to keep the items that you pick up... For the rest of the run, or... I mean, I, I recognize that if I die, I lose all of my things. Should I go with the revolver or the tripwire gun? I guess maybe I'll blow a shot to see... Oh, and then... Oh! That's very useful. I think I'll keep that. Oh, damn! Oh, I didn't see it was rotted until it was too late, but fortunately it only gave me a heart. I mean, fortunately it gave me a heart and did not kill me. Uh, importantly. How are you this evening? I hope you're doing better than this friend that I've kind of graciously murdered. I- should I go with the hatchet? It probably does more damage. What's down here? I- I like having a knife, though. It- it lets me kind of unfocus my eyes for a minute and pretend I'm playing Dishonored, which is one of my favorite games ever. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not very good at stealth, apparently, despite all of uh, my purported Dishonored love. Damn it! Why am I- Oh, I haven't been crouching, because I'm a jerk. I'm a fool. I'm also- uh, Hello. Greetings. Bah! Yep, damn. Oh, damn, damn it, damn, damn, damn ass, damn. They told me it was easy. So, this, I should have recognized it for what it was. It's a, it's a Shoggoth. And, uh, I, I should have recognized it for its, you know, kind of shapeless mass form. But I, uh, apparently those things are unkillable. And, oh, I can punch pumpkins and they give me things. What a wonderful world. Where, um, okay, okay. All right. Uh, uh, the jack-o'-lanterns in my hometown only mock me. It's all right, we're not on the best of terms. I, I intend to give them presents in the near future. Uh, oh! So, so Shagas are unkillable. Uh, I assume that means I can't blow them up either. But I do want all these keys. 
Oh, 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 my mistake, my mistake. I thought it had passed. I, th I didn't hear its vocal cue. Oh, darn, oh, damn. Oh, darn, damn. Where's the compass, I wonder? I could really go for one of those. I could also go for a lot of bullets to go all Oh, well, I guess I got three. I got three bullets. I can live with that. I can, you know, make three bu bullets feel like a hundred, as is the phrase. So I'm guessing these Shoggoths are murdering these- Oh, oh, hello! Evening, friend. Uh, I'm guessing all these Shoggoths are murdering these, uh, pumpkin folk. Which- Oh no! I'm not a fan of, uh, personally. Don't kill pumpkin folk. Don't kill anyone if you can help it. I- I feel like- Oh, yes, uh, uh, t pickaxe! Why am I- why did I pick it up? I can't fight these things. I just wanted the coins! I just wanted the- Fuck! Woo! Woo! Whoa, was that a big old pumpkin face? Hello, what are you about, huh? Oh! Yes! I did it! Okay. Alright. That's good. I've got some things. This pickaxe is slow as shit. Okay. I suppose perhaps I will maybe do a little bit of this. Now that I am kind of equipped, I've got a gun. That'll get me somewhere, yeah. I've got a gun. I'll do a bit of this and see how it turns out. I read that, yeah. I got a compass. I'll do, yeah. Yeah, I'll do a little bit of this. I will not fail because I've been given the gift of knowledge and apparently you can break these wooden doors. Yeah, I don't have to blow keys on doors. I, I also don't have to worry about getting uh, backstabbed while trying to open a door. I wonder, can I do the same things with these spikes? Uh, apparently not. Damn. Hmm, 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 hmm. I am keeping an errant ear out for slapping. There it is. There's the slapping. Deep ones, as they are called. I never, um. I always kind of. Uh. Should I go with the dagger or the knife? Uh, go with the dagger. I like it. I like how fast it is. And it does a fair amount of damage. Plus, I like the, you know. I, at this point, can you tell I'm a sucker for Dishonored and couldn't pass up the opportunity to go knife and gun? Uh, at any rate, I am concerned, or what was I saying? Yes, the deep ones. Uh, the, uh, I, I recognize that this game is going for a specific artistic style, uh, wherein, you know, things kind of have like a cutesy abstracted Minecraft look. Uh, I think even so, I might have liked a little bit more, uh, humanity to these deep ones. Uh, but you know. They're, uh, a reference to the, uh, Shadow Over Innsmouth, a famed and acclaimed Lovecraftian tale, wherein a, uh, township has been, uh, I, I don't know, contracted? Conscripted? No, there's definitely an exchange going on, where, uh, the, you know, the, they, the people mate with these fish folk in order to, uh, ascend to a higher tier of existence, which is being a fish, fish person. Um, it's a really fantastic tale. I, and I think anytime I see an artistic representation of a deep, <clears throat> of like a, uh, dun, dun, dun uh, what am I thinking? Uh, a Shadow Over Innsmouth sort of fish person, I typically prefer the, um, them to be a little bit closer on the human side of things. Where am I? Oh, I got jump boots. Am I in a shop? Hello. Are you alright, shopkeeper? Fishman smiles weepily at me. Welcome, stranger. Please buy something. I have so many good things in my shop. Alright. What should I buy? I've got baked meat. I've... I, my cup runneth over with keys. I've got a conjurer's talisman. What does that do? Selection of valuable gear. If I cannot afford the price, I can try to steal an item, but I'll make the shopkeeper angry. Oh, it reduces the artifact cost to use special powers. I have so many, uh, locksmith's kit. Open lock doors and puts locks on doors for a small cost. That's probably useful. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to actually buy it, though. Fuck. Well, this is what I've got now. And my canvas bag can, can, and carrying this kit allows me to open lock doors without expending keys. Also, locks... Hey. Oh, shit! I press steal! I press steal! I press steal! I press steal. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off, sir. Alright, well. He got me. I didn't realize I pressed steal. I thought perhaps I bought- I pressed buy. Twas not the case. Maybe I'll try this Mountains of Madness thing. 
or I'm sorry, it's supposed to be, uh, uh, so, so, oh, hey, it's a thing. Uh, so, a little bit of context. This is, like, the downloadable content side expansion thing. It's supposedly, like, it's standalone deal. Uh, but I, you know, judging by the title and what it is, I'm guessing it takes inspiration from the Mountains of Madness, which is another Lovecraftian tale. Uh, wherein, uh, an arctic expedition finds a bunch of, uh, well, alright. So, a lot of things happen. S oh, the exit is here? No, hold on now. So, the idea behind the Mountains of Madness is that they find a bunch of Shagos, I believe. Are they Shagos? Damn. Oh, I feel like a fool. They find, like, a sort of servant cast of, uh, Ancient One that were used by, like, the dominant Ancient Ones, but, like, their- the Ancient Ones' science went too far, and they ended up creating Shagoths, which can kind of, uh, uh, adapt and outlast even the Great Old Ones in the Lovecraftian tales. Um, consequently, I am on the lookout for things that I'm not prepared to fight, or maybe like frosty Shoggoths. Maybe I'll just go through this exit, yeah? Maybe, well, we'll try. Oh, damn, all right, so be it. I'm, I'm like diligently crouching because I'm nervous. If, if the fire things in the trick-or-treat world are Shoggoths, and those things kill me with no issue and are undefeatable, I am afraid to find out what a frozen Shoggoth would articulate as. Mm. Oh. What? Oh, oh, it's a thing. Oh, good, it's a power thing. I've only got one blue coin, or one, like, artifact coin, one little, uh, nugget thing. And so, I wonder... I'm, I'm, haha. <laughs> so this is doing the thing, uh... Oh, oh I see. Okay. Problems from above. I've got one HP. Alright. That is a problem. Conjure mystical bearer material. Oh, damn it, it's the block thing. I don't want the block thing. Alright, but now I know to watch out for, uh, st uh, stalactites. Or icicles, I guess is what you call the ice version of those things. You know, I'm nervous. Get off my back. I am concerned about the lack of enemies that I've run into thus far. It reminds me of... Here's a mildly obscure ref... Oh! Oh, it's a penguin! Oh, that's right! That's right! They're in... Oh, damn. I'm concerned that I'm not doing any damage to this. Go away. Be gone. Be gone. There are in the Mountains of Madness. There is a sort of, uh... Kind of, uh... A section about, like... Uh... Old eldritch penguins. And it's kind of silly. I imagine that at that point... Oh, damn, I thought maybe he'd have more than a bullet. Um... I imagine at that point there weren't a whole lot of penguins to be seen in, uh... The amazing year 1920, whenever Lovecraft was writing this. Uh... So I can imagine maybe penguins were more esoteric and unsettling than fuck than they are. Oh, That's a problem. That thing's a problem. I still hear the slapping around of fucking fuck. Oh, god damn. Well, run this way, I guess, because I don't have anything to survive. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the lack of enemies reminded me of Shalebridge Cradle from Thief Deadly Shadows, which is a horror level in Thief Deadly Shadows that starts out very restrained with not very few enemies, and it's all to very good effect. What are you? Oh, you're just a fire. Okay, can anything climb up here? I'm really nervous because I hear a whole lot of slapping. Oh, fuck. Oh, damn. Oh, no. Oh, good. Oh, I've got one heart. I've got one heart and an entire cave of what's-its trying to get on my body. And all I can do is shoot blocks that do no damage. I'm getting the feeling like... I mean, I'll... I'll admit it, I may not have the strongest idea of what's going on in this game, but I'm getting the sense that after crawling around all this time, uh, 
and still not finding any weapons, maybe I've had a bad, like, uh, random number generation sequence where, like, I would have really liked maybe a gun or, like, hell, I'd take a pickaxe at this point. Mmm. Mmm. Very nervous. Very nervous. Hearing a lot of slapping. Those, uh, penguin things sounded like monkeys. That was alright. Sir, can I just... Fuck. Uh, get out of here. Do they... If I punch you, will you back the fuck up? Yeah? Yeah? Sure, why not? I wonder if this is supposed to articulate as, like, the old one that is found in the Mountains of Madness. Because I believe they find... Hearing a lot of slaps. Hearing a, little, a lot of slaps, and I'm not totally certain where they're all coming from. Uh... Okay, just don't get murdered by an icicle. That is my goal presently. If I'm to get murdered, I want it to be by something sentient. Fuck! I don't know why I'm not constantly looking up more. Uh, I'm- Fuck! Damn! Hey, pickaxe! Oh no, pick up the pickaxe! Running, 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 fleeing, running, fleeing, fleeing, running, running, fleeing. Running, running, fleeing, fleeing, running, running, fleeing. This game kind of needs a, uh... Fuck, damn it! I was gonna say it kind of needed a, um... A system for gauging whether or not something catches you. Perhaps what I need is a system for gauging whether or not I'm underneath a fucking icicle. <sighs> Thank you so much for subjugating yourself to my nonsense. I hope to... I... Really, like, alright. Let me level with you. This has been... Kind of an embarrassing time in the pumpkin patch, uh, history. But regardless, I hope that maybe you can see the good in this embarrassment. And furthermore, I very sincerely hope to see you traipsing around the pumpkin patch again. Have a very good night. And watch out for the aberrations.